so hi everyone and a very good morning to all of you welcome back once again to another class of pib 247 in today's class we will be talking about the pib news from 26 to 28th of may 2023 and yeah let's begin with the session without any delay let's talk about the very first question which is about the bank guarantees and insurance surety bonds so there is a workshop which has been organized on implementation of on implementation of electronic bank guarantees and insurance surety bonds so you need to identify which organization has organized this workshop right remember it has been organized by national highway authority of india national highway authority of india has organized a workshop on implementation of e bank guarantees and insurance surety bonds right the objective of this uh, workshop was to highlight the benefits of e bank guarantees and insurance surety bonds among various stakeholders who can get benefits of these bank guarantees and insurance surety bonds. But the thing is, what is what are uh, these uh, electronic bank guarantees and insurance surety bonds? So if I talk about the bank guarantee, so remember bank guarantee as the name suggests, it is a financial instrument which can be used as a legal contract under which a bank acts as a guarantor. The bank is a guarantor ki act karta hai and undertakes an obligation to pay the beneficiary that amount which was which is specified in the guarantee agar debtor fail ho jata hai wo payment dene ke liye to if the debtor from the original contract does not fulfill his contractual obligation right let's say there is a project a right there is a project a and for that x and y are the two parties who, who entered into the contract x credited some amount to y right so y is a debtor and x is a creditor all right so for this project a y has to uh, you know uh, y borrowed some money from x now what if y fails in uh, in you know completing the project or maybe uh, returning the funds then in that case this bank will so y kya karega bank guarantee le lega at a certain uh, you know at a certain amount of fees so jo this bank hoga ye jo bank hoga this will pay the amount back to x so that is the meaning of bank guarantee i hope this is clear now what are the insurance surety bonds these are again the another type of financial instruments where insurance companies acts as surety and provides the financial guarantee that contractor will fulfill its obligation as per the agreed terms all right so these are the basic terms i hope you guys have uh, uh, learned these uh, terms in rbi 247 sessions as well so let's come back to the question the correct answer to this question is national highway authority of india option e let's talk about question number two Ministry of Civil Aviation headed by Jyoti Raditya Sindhya. Jyoti Raditya Sindhya is the minister has launched Uran 5.1. A uh, few weeks back we have discussed in detail about Uran 5.0. Now uh, they have launched Uran 5.1 which has been designed for the first time specifically for the helicopter routes. Now we are talking about helicopter routes under Uran 5.1. Right. Uh, so under this Uran 5.1 air fare caps have been reduced by as much as dash to what percent? to make flying in helicopters more affordable for the passengers. So the news is this only the Ministry of Civil Aviation has launched Udan 5.1 under Regional Connectivity Scheme Ude Desh Ka Aam Nagrik which in short is Udan. The objective of this 5.1 Udan is to further enhance the connectivity to remote areas because uh, in uh, certain areas we cannot uh, go, we cannot travel through the aircrafts. So in those areas we can make use of helicopters to travel, we can make use helicopters to make accessible those areas right and for this this Uran 5.1 has been launched right now these are some of the main features number one it has increased the scope of operations for operators by allowing to fly on routes where one of the origin or destination location is in the priority area so before this what happened was uh, what what used to happen was uh, you know if a helicopter is flying from let's say a to b then these both of these Desti uh, both of these origin and destination must be in the priority areas but now what they have done is they have said that either of origin or destination can be of the priority area so what will go that route helicopter uh, operational ho jayega. right it has reduced the air fare caps by as much as 25 percent so that uh, flying in helicopter can be made affordable and it has also increased the viability gas funding caps for operators for both single and twin engine helicopters to enhance the financial viability and through which through this uh, what uh, you know what results will will this increase in viability gap funding give 
so it will allow the operators to take more loan to operate their companies to operate their helicopters all right so that is all about udan 5.1 and the correct answer is 25% option b let's talk about uh, the question number 3 question number 3 pe aa jate hain which ministry has launched a samarth campaign on promoting digital transaction in 50000 gram panchayats to promote digital transactions in rural areas particularly focusing on women you might get confused between the ministry of finance or the ministry of rural development ministry of rural development by these two terms what are these two terms one on one hand uh, there are digital transactions included and on the other there are rural areas included so you might get confused but don't be confused the correct answer to this question is ministry of rural development which has launched a samarth campaign on promoting digital transactions in 50000 gram panchayats in lucknow which is of course the capital of uttar pradesh right the objective is already mentioned in the question to promote digital transaction in rural areas particularly focusing on women and it started from 1st february 2023 and it will end on 15th of august 2023 the independence day right so this much is enough and this was only given in pib and the correct answer therefore is ministry of rural development headed by giri raj singh giri raj singh right question number 3 uh, question number 4 very important question with which states has ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare headed by narendra singh tomar uh, has signed mou to move ahead with the initiation of digital crop survey in the states theek hai digital crop survey ko aage badhane ke liye an mou has been signed six mous has been signed with six, six different states right so you need to tell which of the following are those states theek hai to ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare has organized a workshop actually on digital crop survey and during that workshop these mous were signed with six states which are assam gujarat madhya pradesh odisha rajasthan and uttar pradesh right and why this mou has been signed so that these states uh, could be motivated to initiate the digital crop survey in the respective states right and nisd national informatic center also conducted that a demo of web app and mobile app of digital crop survey for understanding the configuration and customization of digital crop survey application by the states theek okay? hai to make them aware to make them understand how this digital crop survey can be conducted this demo was uh, this demo was conducted theek okay? hai now what is this digital crop survey theek okay? hai digital crop survey mein actually kya hoga right what details will it have so it will have it will provide the verified source about the farmers crop राइट right, जो भी उसने क्रॉप उगाए हैं उसके बारे में हमें वेरीफाइड सोर्स मिलेगा इट इज बीइंग डेवलप्ड एज अ पार्ट ऑफ एग्री स्टैक और आइडिया और आइडिया व्हाट इज आइडिया इंडियन डिजिटल इकोसिस्टम फॉर एग्रीकल्चर ठीक है इट विल हेल्प इन एस्टैब्लिशिंग अ क्लियर पिक्चर ऑफ क्रॉप विच आर यू नो विच आर सोन अक्रॉस ऑल द फार्म इन द कंट्री राइट उसी के अकॉर्डिंग देन द गवर्नमेंट वुड बी एबल टू गिव द रिक्वायर्ड बेनिफिट्स टू दी टू ऑल ऑफ दीज फार्मर्स as per the requirement as per the requirement in the respective areas all right so that is all about digital crop survey and which states are these assam is there gujarat is there maharashtra is not there uttar pradesh and rajasthan is there so 1 2 4 and 5 should be the correct answer option c question number 5 pe aa jate hain which of the following crops will have record production as per the third advanced estimate of production of major crops for agriculture year 22 23 released by ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare very very important question especially for nabard in the last year two questions were asked from the advanced estimates so advanced estimates are very important for the nabard aspirants but in rbi also they can ask this uh, any particular question from the advanced estimates of production of major crops okay so this was the third advanced estimates of uh, production of major fruit crops for financial year 22 23 and as per it the total food grain production will be 3305.34 lakh tons and we will be doing the record production in this area right now aapko sare yaad rakhne ki zarurat nahi hai you have to remember these uh, i'll i'll tell you ki aapko kon kon se yaad rakhne hain rice you have to remember 1355.42 lakh tons because it will show a record production wheat you have to remember 1127.43 lakh tons again the record production bajra you can ignore triple 1.66 lakh tons nutri or coarse cereals 547.48 lakh tons maize again record production 
थ्री फाइव नाइन पॉइंट वन थ्री लाख टेन येस यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर इट हाउ एवर यू कैन इग्नोर बाजरा एंड न्यूट्री कोर सीरियल्स बट अब इतना याद करोगे तो दो और कर लोगे तो उसमें कोई नुकसान है नहीं टोटल पल्सेस प्रोडक्शन इज एस्टिमेटेड एज टू इज एस्टिमेटेड एट टू सेवेंटी फाइव पॉइंट जीरो फोर लाख टन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ग्राम एंड मूव यू कैनॉट यू कैन इग्नोर बट ठीक है इग्नोर का मतलब ये कि आपको इनको सबसे कम प्रायरिटी देनी है राइट यू हैव टू गिव द लेस प्रायरिटी टू दीज ऑयल सीड्स अगेन रिकॉर्ड प्रोडक्शन येस यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर इट बिकॉज इट इज शोइंग द रिकॉर्ड प्रोडक्शन फोर जीरो नाइन पॉइंट नाइन सिक्स लाख टन ग्राउंड नट वन जीरो टू पॉइंट एट टू लाख टन सोयाबीन अगेन द रिकॉर्ड प्रोडक्शन यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर इट वन फोर्टी नाइन पॉइंट सेवन सिक्स लाख टन रेड सीड एंड मस्टर्ड वन ट्वेंटी फोर पॉइंट नाइन फोर लाख टन ठीक है कॉटन थ्री फोर्टी थ्री पॉइंट फोर सेवन लाख बेल्स शुगर केन फोर नाइन फोर टू पॉइंट टू एट लाख टन अगेन रिकॉर्ड प्रोडक्शन यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर जूट एंड मेस्टर नाइनटी फोर पॉइंट नाइन फोर लाख बेल्स ठीक है तो जो रिकॉर्ड वाले हैं एटलीस्ट वो याद कर लो और जो मेजर मेजर है जैसे ऑयल सीड्स हैं वो इंपॉर्टेंट है पल्सिस का इंपॉर्टेंट है एंड ऑफकोर्स द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इज टोटल फूड ग्रेन प्रोडक्शन ठीक है सो दैट इज ऑल अबाउट दर्ड एडवांस एस्टिमेट एंड विच आर दीज द crops which will be showing the record production maize soybean sugar cane cotton and jute are not there so 1 2 and 3 will be the correct answer option b <clears throat> let's talk about question number 6 where will india be hosting the 8th mission innovation ministerial and 14th clean energy ministerial alongside the g20 energy transition ministerial meeting right so let's talk about it it is an important uh, news so it is a news because website and logo of the joint 8th mission innovation ministerial and 14th uh, clean energy ministerial were launched recently and india will be hosting both of these events in goa in the month of july right these uh, two events will take place in goa in the month of july and for this year the focus of mission innovation will be advancing the continuum of research and development towards pilot demonstration on clean energy technologies thoda lamba hai there are very less chances that uh, rbi or nabard is going to ask this in your exam now talking about uh, mission innovation so mission innovation as the name says we are talking about innovation but we are talking about innovation only in the uh, clean energy areas theek okay? hai mission innovation is all about the clean energy area is all about the research development demonstration accessibility and sustainable uh, of sustainable clean energy theek okay? hai it was founded at Uh, COP twenty one in the year two thousand and fifteen, and it is a global initiative. As the as we can see that it was founded at COP twenty one, which means it is a global initiative to accelerate public and private clean energy innovation. Right, so that we can address the climate change, so that we can make the clean energy affordable, so that we can create green jobs, so that we can create a number of employment in this area, and we can create a number of commercial opportunities also in this area. All right. Members, this case, twenty-three countries and European Commission on behalf of European Union. India was one of the founding members in it. The first phase was from two thousand fifteen to twenty. The second phase was launched on second June two thousand and twenty-one, which has its focus on the upcoming dec on the ongoing decade, that is two thousand twenty-one to thirty. All right. And the second phase emphasis was on scale up the deployment of innovative clean energy technology and make. the clean energy affordable so all in all it talks about making the making the clean energy affordable accessible and doing research and development in that area okay so that is all about it and at this uh, meeting both of these event will take place in goa option a is the correct answer and now let's move ahead to the questions in short which do not need much explanation but before that if you want to have the pdf you can join the telegram channel the link is provided in the description and we have already launched a crash course on our website so if you want to ace the examination this year you can enroll in that course okay question number 7 which ministry has inaugurated e office portal of pci m and h an online portal for setting for selling the soft copies of pharmacopoeial monographs right this ministry when we are talking about pharmacopoeial it is it must be the ministry of ayush right ministry of ayush and what what does ayush stand for Uh, ayurveda yoga yunani siddha and homeopathy option a is the correct answer which ministry or ministries is are organizing the urban climate film festival in kolkata in the month of june in this in the upcoming month 
to spread awareness about the environmental, social and economic impacts of climate change on urban settlements. Right. So, Urban Climate Film Festival is the Ministry must be the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. And yes, that is the correct answer. Headed by Hardeep Singh Puri, who is also the Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas. Question number 9. Where is Ministry of Personnel, Public Grievances and Pensions organizing the second G20 Anti-Corruption Working Group meeting under India's Presidency? The first G20 Anti-Corruption Working Group meeting took place in Gurugram in Haryana. Gurugram in Haryana. The second one will take place in Rishikesh. And don't worry guys, I'll be taking a separate session on all the meetings of G20 or uh, actually India's G20 presidency. Okay? Because definitely there will be two or three questions uh, in your examination regarding India's G20 presidency. So I'll be taking a session on that. But uh, please, you have to give me some time. Ho jayega. It's not that I will do it just before I do it. I will do it so much that you will go and go. Alright. Question number 10. Since launch of uh, 5G services on 1st October 2022, 2 lakh sites covering 700 districts across the country have been installed. Where has the uh, 2 lakh 5G site been launched recently? So 2 lakh 5G site has been recently launched in Gangotri. Option D is the correct answer. Question number 11. Where has Triped, which is Tribal Cooperative Marketing Development Federation and National Scheduled Tribes Finance and Development Corporation has organized Mahila SFG Sammelan. SFG stands for what? Self-help groups. I hope you all know this. To encourage and inspire uh, women SFGs and other small entrepreneurs. So this was organized in Kunti. Where is this Kunti? Kunti is the birthplace of the great Birsa Munda and that's why it is in Jharkhand. Option C is the correct answer. Question number 12. National Center for medium range weather forecasting hosts one of India's fastest computer Cray XC40 supercomputer which uh, possess Indian name Mihir. So where is this uh, uh, forecasting center located? It is located in Noida. Option B is the correct answer. What is the name of AI supercomputer installed at CDAC Pune which has been ranked 75th in the world by the 61st edition of top 500 supercomputing list released at International Supercomputing Conference which took place in Germany. Very very important question. The name of this AI supercomputer is Aravat. Option C is the correct answer. Question number 14. Which ministry has approved a grant of 45.34 crores under Pradhan Mantri Jan Vikas Karyakram which is a centrally sponsored scheme for the promotion and upgradation of Unani medicine facilities in India. Now this scheme we have recently discussed in in the in the Friday's government scheme session and I could see aap se bahut kam log hai, jo ki classes ko attend kar rahe I don't know the reason uh, aap, I, I can see ki aap logo ka jose jo hai wo niche ja raha hai but please don't do that main bar bar keh raha hon ki this time will definitely make a huge difference between those who will clear the exam and those who will not so please don't you know waste your time please do not procrastinate just make the right use of time. Okay. This is not going to come in your life. Okay. So, Pradhan Mantri Jan Vikas Karyakram is being implemented by Ministry of Minority Affairs, which is the correct answer to this question. Option B. Alright. Question number 15. Asian Development Bank and Government of India has signed a $141.12 million loan to support the development of high quality internal infrastructure such as road, water supply system and electricity dis- uh, distribution network in three Industrial clusters in which state? So in such questions, uh, only two, three things you have to remember. Which bank has given the loan or which international organization has given the loan? How much, uh, you know, what is the value of the loan? And for which state the loan has been given and the objective. That's it. These four things you have to remember. The, the, the three things are already given in the question. The fourth one, that is the state is Andhra Pradesh. Option C is the correct answer. Question number 16. Ministry of Women and Child Development has invited nominations for Pradhan Mantri Rashtabal Puraskar. Any child who is an Indian citizen and residing in India and not exceeding 18 years is eligible for this award. So the correct answer is option D, 18. Alright. Uh, one second guys. I think. One second.
गाइस प्लीज वेट फॉर अ सेकंड बस आई थिंक देर इज अ प्रॉब्लम ओके या इट्स फाइन नाउ ऑल राइट सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी एटीन एंड द लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर टूडे इंडिया हैज सेट सेट अ टारगेट टू एलिमिनेट टीवी बाय टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव फाइव ईयर्स ऑफ दिस सेट टारगेट अंडर एस डी जी थ्री पॉइंट थ्री दैट इज टू थाउजेंड एंड थर्टी राइट to achieve this it has implemented comprehensive initiatives focused not only on the treatment of tb but also on nutritional assist assistance like nikshay poshan yojana we have nikshay poshan yojana theek hai through community support resulting in a reduction of uh, 13% in tb incidence and 15% in tb uh, mortality from 2015 to 2020 surpassing the global reduction in both the categories very very important question i would say theek hai so the correct answer is option b 13% and 15% all right okay guys so that is all for today's class i hope all the questions and their explanations are clear if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching goodbye take care and god bless